Facing steep funding cuts, one of New Jersey's largest school districts joins others suing the state for its funding formula. And there's concern the cuts will have a big impact on students. CBS 2's Meg Baker has this. Buses may no longer be available to some 3,000 freehold regional school district students next year. Now you will have to live two and a half miles from school to get a bus. No more so called courtesy buses for those just inside that limit. This will greatly impact working parents. As a working mom, I'm a hospice nurse. I work a lot of crazy hours. This year's budget was uh, reduced by almost $4 million, so we basically drained our reserves. Freehold Regional is not alone when it comes to drastic cuts in state funding. 200 other districts are also affected by the new funding formula, many of which have banned together and are suing the state for not releasing the equation used. Senate President Sweeney has said the new funding method is about fairness. Many school districts are receiving more money. And some districts were overfunded for years. But Freehold Regional Superintendent Charles Sampson says his district did the right thing, saving by consolidating into a regional district with six high schools, and now is in dire straits. Cuts here at Manalpin High School could include not only after school activities, but some unique elective classes. If it wasn't here, his portfolio probably wouldn't be as strong uh, to present to the colleges. And pay to play sports and activities, leaving the most needy out. Are really going to have an impact on the types of supports that we can continue to give those students day in and day out. Other options include staff reductions, which means larger classes. They already run between 28 to 30 students. The final funding numbers from the state for next school year are due in April. In Manalpin, New Jersey, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News. And communities in the Freehold Regional School District can expect to vote soon on whether to fix up the schools. The estimate is $30 million plus to outfit century old buildings with new roofs, boilers, and pavement. Similar referendums have been shot down by voters over the past two years.